Rosie, you're next, honey. You're next. Are you excited? I'm excited, girls. Right, baby? Got some girls in there for me. <laughs> Rosie. Rosie. It's time, isn't it? It's time. Are you gonna make me get up all night? Your ligaments. I can't feel them very much. I was just saying quite a bit because I just got done talking to you guys about my snafu of reading and my management practices like three hours ago. And she had ligaments. So I guess it's a good thing I've already got her her pen set up, huh? Oh, know how to use your feet I guess you know what I'm not surprised at all that she's lost her ligaments the reason for that being is it looks like tonight is going to be the coldest night that we've got for another week so it absolutely makes sense why she would lose her ligaments in the course of three hours her bag she bagged up quite a bit today I did notice that um, she this morning when I came out I was like oh no no looking too bad little miss looking bad because she's really really close I think um I love you know and they always hate being put over here by themselves but I really you guys saw what I got going on over there with all of my does and all of the kids from the season and I really am going to have to make some hard cuts but for right now next time you guys see me it'll be to check on her and hopefully when we come back she'll be having babies going to be cold enough. We'll go ahead and put on a heat lamp for her. Can't wait for these freezers to go away. It needs to be like a true, like true spring slash summer. I know love, I know, it's okay. You guys can see like it's, it is secured. It'll be secured. Probably much rather it be like right here. All right. What do you think, lady? Soon? You gonna do it soon? Your eyes are getting big. Your eyes are getting big. You're quiet. By the way, let's hope it's soon. She's such a good mommy too. You just. They're soft, like, like they're there, but they're soft enough where I'm like softening up fast. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab her some water. Hopefully the next time I come back to you guys, I'm either letting her out tomorrow morning to run with the herd, but if she is that soft already, where I can barely feel ligaments, unless her ligaments are completely back in the morning, which does happen, then this little girl's staying in here pretty much until, until babies come. The joys of being put in a kidding pen, eating your dinner without dinner guests. No babies yet. But soon. Well, Rosie snuck and had them. And I've got one that's cold. I know, honey, I'm going. So I have actually been in meetings all morning. So I decided I'd come on and check. She's got triplets, but this one is cold. So we're gonna warm it up. I know, I hate that sound. Well, they all tried and true. Put them in the 
Put them in the kitchen sink with warm water in a plastic bag and see how it goes. This is a little feller. You can tell he's warming up. They get like all sleepy looking and cold. <coughs> they start warming up. So this is the second year in a row that Rosie Rue has done this to me. <laughs> She, uh, she at least gave me better signs this year, like her ligaments leaving, but they didn't leave all the way. So this morning I could still kind of find her ligaments. She was soft, but they were still there. So I'm really glad that I didn't let her out this morning. I'm glad I went with my instinct and said, if she's softening this fast, then I definitely don't want to let her out on the field, regardless of if it looks like it's going to get to 45, because this, this little feller probably wouldn't have been okay out, um, on, out on the field. You can tell he's got the shivers going, which is good. It means his body's responding to him being cold, but I've already um, tested and tried to see if he has a suckle reflex, which he's, he's got one. So he's warming up. Mark said that she's looking for him. So I'm probably going to go ahead and, and put my electric blanket up in um, like a little wash basket and just wrap him up real nice and tight because sadly the last bag did have a hole in it. You really want to try if you're going to do this with these guys to not have holes in the bags or the OB gloves that you're going to put them in to warm them up because it washes off the birth fluids, which for mommy, it can make her a little bit more confused if they don't smell like the birth fluids. Luckily, he's still got quite a few fluids on him. So I'm probably going to go ahead and give him just a little bit more time in here. And then I'm going to move him to a warming blanket and give him a nice dark um, room to kind of remain calm in, throw a towel over it and let him warm up to where he is nice and happy. And then I'll reunite him with mommy here in probably about an hour or so. Um, the hormones will be flowing for her for a few few more hours. So I'm not not too worried. I'm just glad that we... We found him. <laughs> and then I decided to check. I really wish that my um, training session today for work wouldn't have gone so um, long. Usually we're done like around 12-ish. And even though I kind of waited maybe about 15 minutes before I got outside, um, that would have probably made a little bit of a difference as to whether this guy got cleaned off a little bit better. And I could have helped mommy keep them nice and dry. So I really like being present for all of the births, even though she obviously could do this herself because this is the second year in the row where she's not let me um, capture her birth on video. <laughs> so thanks, Rosie. Okay, so we got them taken care of. His, his suckle reflex is coming back. So I'm gonna just leave him on that heating blanket and a towel. Um, number one, because the second bag also had a, a small hole in it that let water in. So he's a little bit um, wet. Don't like putting them on electric blankets while they're wet. So put down just something underneath of him that was waterproof, put him on a towel and then wrapped um, the blanket, kind of cuddling him in like the womb would. <laughs> Um, but now I'm going to go back out here and check on Rosie with her other two because she had triplets. So we know that fella in there is a buck. More testicles to add to the barn. But we're going to see. No, I don't want to. No, 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 no. June, get out. Get out. She really loves babies, but mommies don't tend to love dogs around their babies. How's it going, Mom? Oh my god. Hi, you did a good job, Mama. She always she's a good mom. You're a good mom. Wish you'd have given me some give him a heads up. You're a beautiful mom. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this back. Where did you go? Oh my goodness. I I'm sorry. They're yours, I know. And she's got a little gold one and a rosy. And a little buckskin looks just like her. You're so beautiful, Mom. You did so good. Good girl. Can I, do I dare try to, I know. It's rude, isn't it? So this one, I can just feel, oh, testicles, another buck. And, um, are you serious? Did you give me three bucks? Are you kidding? A buck. And another buck. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Nobody got the orders right again this year. I said, hold the testicles. Oh, even to have testicles, you're pretty cute. You're pretty cute. You're pretty cute. Oh, my goodness. You're pretty cute. She's already got her first visitor. Hi, Yuri. Hi, Yuri. Oh, really sweethearts. So before I brought him out here, I actually um, harvested, not harvested, well, kind of. I milked a lot of colostrum, um, excess colostrum, off of my does from earlier this year already. So I just um, thawed some colostrum in some warm water and brought it to like a nice warm temperature. And I did bottle feed him before I brought him out here because I'm really worried like, it's so important for them to get that first drink in, that first amount of colostrum. It helps to bring the mother's antibodies and her immunity into her kids. So it's really important that he gets that from her. Now, he hasn't technically nursed off of mommy, but he's getting antibodies from like three other really strong does in my, in my, um, in my herd. So we did do that prior to bringing him back. Mommy's interested. I think she's already overwhelmed with being a mom. <laughs> Last year she just had a single, so I'm sure three seems like a, a bit much. Does he seem like it's a bit much? Oh, he's so cute. I think while he gets his feet under him, I'm going to go ahead and put him over here. So if he decides to lay back down, at least he's right underneath a heat lamp. Because he's still, you're still a little sticky. You're still just a little sticky. See, mommy's got some of that grossness on him. You got some of that grossness still on you. Which is what we wanted. I don't like him to stay gross. But that grossness is what helps. See? You smell this? Yeah. Okay. So even though I kind of like want to stay out here and monitor, there is a certain degree of bonding that I think happens um, without us present most of the time. <laughs> Um, because even though like Rosie was born on our farm, she's homebred. I love her. She loves me. She's one of my babies. There is something about mommies being able to bond with their, their, their infants, their babies without our inter interference, I think is just important. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave and I'm going to close this door behind me and I'll, I'll be back out here in about an hour to check on them. But He's, he's had a good drink of colostrum. He is acting good, in my opinion. Mommy is up and is um, cleaning him off. That's always something I worry about when they chill like that. Sometimes it's like the moms know and they just automatically will not go back to them because they know that is a weak kid and they shouldn't be putting resources into weak kids when they have other perfectly strong and healthy kids. That doesn't mean he was born weak, it just means Maybe because I wasn't here, um, I was inside working, that maybe they, the births were really fast and the other two were up pipping and squeaking and she focused on them and he was had a little bit of a slow start. Not uncommon, that's exactly what happened to Bright Eyes, but um, that's also why I try to keep them as dry as I can in that warm um, water bath in the plastic bag so that enough of her scent is on them so that when I bring them back, she knows that that's hers because of the, the birthing fluids and her hormones are still pretty high. So I feel good. He's had his colostrum. <laughs> he's been brought back up to uh, temperature as is appropriate. And he's back with his mommy. And really those are, those are all the ingredients for it to be successful. But I will um, be watching them intently probably every half an hour, every hour or so until I know for sure that they're stable and everybody looks like they're doing pretty good. But I can't get over how tiny he is. You're so little. Hello. Hello, dears. Oh, you're so little. 
And mommy's just loving on her babies. She's just loving on her little baby. Hello. Hi. You doing okay, mom? Are you camera shy? Are you camera shy, Rosie? You're such a good girl. You're a good mom. Hi. I can't get over how sweet. Oh my gosh. And as if the cuteness couldn't overload anymore. He's a pile of babies. Avi. <laughs> 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 